What's your favorite Black Sabbath album? I can't make up my mind. It's a constant, constant battle between the, the, the first three albums. I mean, those are, those are my first because of the ones I, I bought as they were coming out. Okay. You know what I mean? I, I mean, I, mean I, I bought them all, I think, up until a certain time when I just kind of like checked out. Late 70s, I was like, all right, everything sucks. So I went to punk rock. But um, those first three albums really, really killed me. Like, dead. I remember walk, I walked in a store and bought the first Black Sabbath album. <clears throat> the way I used to buy all my records back then when I was 12. <laughs> without knowing what it was. I didn't know what it was. I just saw this cover and I was like, wow, this is probably great. I had no idea how great it was. There's nothing else sounded like that back then. I mean, there was no nobody else that came close. I mean, that was completely new sound to me. And now, you know, years later, I, I grow up and I'm a huge record fan. And I, I mean, I was a record fan back then. I just got more and more of them. So I listened to more and more music, but still, there was, I mean, 68, 69, everybody says Led Zeppelin started it, but they may have start. they may have like put loud music on the map, but Black Sabbath invented a whole different thing. That, I mean, nothing sounds like that. And then they just got better at it. Yes. I guess I'd have to say my favorite would be Paranoid because I like the sound of it. Oh, it yeah. sounds really weird and cool. Do you like and the later? Are just fantastic. Do you like the later albums? No, I'm, I'm a snob. I just I kind of bailed out after Never Say Die. No, Technical Ecstasy. Okay. When Technical Ecstasy came out, I was like, this sucks. But but then I was all into punk rock and stuff, so it was cool to like start dissing the big bands. There was a really really big difference in this in the early '70s to the mid '70s. Like things got, at least according to at least to me, and then I later found out why it's the business. But <clears throat> things went from really, really, really strangely psychedelic and like cool, heavy, to kind of butt tight, overproduced, <laughs> bullshit heavy. So by the time '76 came around, '77, most of the old bands. The bands that were so fucking cool in the early days just really sucked. Wow, that's interesting. Um, and that's why punk rock happened. Interesting. Punk rock was just like, well, you know, do you have anything else besides uh, technical ecstasy for us? <laughs> you know, do we, can't we just have the good parts without all the drum solos and stuff? Yeah. Do you, do you like any fast food? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, like what? Because <laughs> I, I, like I might get some tonight. I'm not sure. Would you say that again? I might get some tonight myself. Oh, man. The great thing about fast food, and the best way to eat fast food is really like go through the drive through. <laughs> you know, just do the whole thing. Just say fuck it. You know, something. I just. Just feed me. Feed me through a hole in the window. Just give it to me. I'll give you money. <laughs> throw it in my car and eat it before you even get home. Um, McDonald's, I always like McDonald's fries and, and shake at the same time. I think that's Ooh. a good combo. Taco Bell's good too. Oh yes. Yes, Mickey like, like D's and Taco Bell. <laughs> You're making me so hungry now. Now I'm like dying. I'm over here eating vegetables now. Oh really? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm really, really good. I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm totally good now, I'm all healthy and stuff, so, um, but, the urges never leave. Okay. <laughs>